Hello Internet, this is a short video, uh, an update on my game development uh, work. So I've always been doing vehicle simulations, so cranes, planes, automobiles, tanks, and I've always done those simulations using the Open Dynamics Engine, ODE. And this video is basically about um, explaining how I switched over to bullet physics now. I've tried switching before, but this time it looks it's permanent. Um, yeah, so the first incentive for switching over to bullet was um, it was better able to handle um, fully destructible worlds. So I I created this uh, uh, this system that can destroy any convex shape using Voronoi uh, decomposition. And uh, so let me demonstrate. Uh, so here's my vehicle, and I can just ram it through the wall here. And uh, I can procedurally and dynamically uh, destroy the world. I can even do that recursively. So this fragment here, if it gets hit hard enough, I can I can use my mouse for it for now. But you can it can you know fragments can become smaller fragments, uh, which is pretty cool. So yeah, so here uh, I have this fully destructible world. And uh, uh, which was possible by having a, a solid uh, convex versus convex collision system in bullet physics. And I'm very happy with that. So yeah, it's a good starting point, uh, a world that can be destroyed. But next, the next challenge was to take my vehicle simulations from Open Dynamics Engine and move them over to bullet. And I struggled a little bit at first, um, but I think I finally managed to get it right. And even uh, I think it's even better than what I used to do with the Open Dynamics Engine. Um, with the Open Dynamics Engine, my wheels and my vehicles never had any camber, and whereas now they have, and uh, the camera is also dynamic and it changes with um, how far the suspension is compressed. So let me demonstrate. First I'm going to switch my vehicle to a uh, very soft suspension. So now it's got a soft suspension. And um, <clears throat> let me drive over that green block there and you can see what, what will happen. It's kind of hard to drive with this suspension, but this is just to demonstrate. So now, if my wheel, if my suspension gets compressed, so the, the right front wheel now has compressed suspension, and you see that uh, it starts to lean into the chassis. And this is actually what, what happens in real life vehicles. And uh, that this effect helps it to um, to follow the road better under um, body roll when the chassis is rolling uh, during cornering the wheels will stay level uh, let me demonstrate this by getting a little speed up and now I'm turning in oh did not mean to hit that wall let's try again so So the, the body is rolling now. I should do a, a lower vantage point like this. Yeah. So we've got a body that is leaning towards the right because we're taking a left a left turn. And uh, with that lean, uh, the wheels on the right hand side, on the outside of the corner, still stay level. So if I turn the other way around. The left side of the 
the left side wheels will lean in and the right hand side wheels will lean out. So let's put the suspension back where it was. It still got the same effect but now it's much more subtle and it's harder to demonstrate but if I make turns the wheels will uh, lean a little to keep following the ground. And this is what happens in, a, uh, in real cars too. So So yeah, I'm pretty happy with uh, what what is possible with Bullet. So I've got a good basis for a game now. I've got a fully destructible world. I've got a, a really nice handling vehicle. And um, yeah, um, we'll see where it takes me. There are some possibilities. I've been thinking, you know, the easy way out would be to make a, a shooting game with a tank. Uh, that's a possibility, but it seems a little cheap. Uh, I've also considered um, making this vehicle into a bulldozer or an excavator, and then the gameplay could be more like uh, a simulator for doing demolition jobs with a with a bulldozer. Yeah, that's that's another possibility. I've always uh, done game development pretty much with uh, developing technology and then just seeing where the uh, gameplay follows and see see where where the gameplay ends up. Um, yeah, might not be the best way to develop games, but at least I've got a good starting point. Uh, yeah, a simulation where uh, where everything is. Um, uh, it's pretty dynamic and uh, yeah because your average game will actually uh, use very simplified models for vehicles which means that even the wheels are not modeled in the physics simulation uh, instead uh, rays will sh be shooting uh, into the ground to see where they touch and using a ray intersection the wheel is uh, simulated but for me that's not an option because I want these wheels to be fully interacting with the with the physical world um, you know like these these wheels are actually you know I can I can push the wall with the wheel I can climb up a wall with a wheel you know I I don't want to do this with a cheap ray cast uh, approximation I want you know a proper simulation of, of the wheel physics and the wheel presence in this world so that the wheels can be used to demolish buildings so yeah that's uh, where it is at at the moment um, uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, with bullets um, and thank you for watching and uh, let's see where this uh, this game uh, ends up okay